Artists, storytellers, beat makers. I'm Sanjay C, and these are the latest news stories from the music production world. I finally got a plugin that may rival XO. We'll take a look at an acoustic guitar with a touch screen built in. This is crazy. I've got an update on the amazing Osmos from Expressive E. Is it coming soon? I reveal the winner of the Orchestral Tools Metropolis Arc 5 giveaway and Check it out. Someone from our community created this virtually floating keyboard stand. Of course, I've got a freebie too, but first, let's get to the news. All right, I've been waiting for a plugin to come by to rival XO by XLN Audio, and well, we may have a contender here. It's Triaz from Wave Alchemy. Now, I'm not saying Triaz is exactly like XO. In fact, it's quite different, but it does a few things really well and lets you quickly sequence a drum beat from a huge library of sounds. At its heart, Triaz is a 32-step sequencer. Behind it is a huge library of 10,000 samples and 600 presets. And you can drag in your own samples, of course. I always start with a preset. It took me a while to find where the presets are. Oh, by the way, this runs in contact, but you only need contact player to run it, don't worry. Once loaded, you can switch up any sound, and what really got me excited is the XY pad here, which lets you morph the combination of different sounds. You choose samples A, B, and C, and then use the XY pad to find the perfect combo. Listen as I slide around. This is cool. You can get the hang of this when you load up a preset. Or, wow, go crazy and load up anything in A, B, and C and morph away. So yeah, manipulate the sequences as much as you want here. Even pitch your drums individually, so important. I'm super excited to keep messing around with this. It feels right and seems very promising. Triaz is available right now at a 20% discount for the intro period. So 119 pounds right now, link is below. Here's something crazy. This acoustic guitar has a screen built into it, a touch screen. Wow, we're putting touch screens on everything now. The Mi 3 by Lava Music puts multiple apps into a custom operating system called Hi Lava. You'll be able to add effects, look up chords. It's got a built-in tuner, metronome, recorder. It connects to the Lava Cloud to save your recordings. That recorder screen looks suspiciously similar to Voice Memo on iOS. Anyway, this reminds me a lot of this Spark Amp by Positive Grid, except it's not relying on your smartphone, it's actually built into the guitar. That's just one less thing to have to connect before you start playing. Now, I only wish they had built lights into the neck to show chord positions. If that worked with the app, that would be so cool. What do you think? Is the Lava Mi 3 something that would interest you? Okay, check it out. I've connected my Akai MPK Mini Mark II to this mic stand. It's pretty much floating. Seth, one of the viewers here in our music community, created this simple stand. He's selling it on Reverb and Amazon at the moment. It just clicks onto the Akai MPK Mini Mark II and MPK Mini Play. It works just with those keyboards for now, but he's planning to build more options soon for other keyboards. I'll add a link below if you're interested. I love seeing this kind of innovation from members of our community. Good luck with your invention, Seth. A few days ago, Expressive posted this on Instagram a sneak peek at a production-ready Osmos. Osmos is an upcoming synthesizer slash controller slash MPE magical controller that Expressive E has been promising for a while, and it looks like they're much closer to the finished product. I see a few changes, mostly in button placement and positioning from the pictures. They chose to angle the two sliders on the left side. Hmm, interesting. The M button allows you to switch between controlling the internal synth engine and the MIDI mode. This is an MPE synth with internal sounds, but it's also an MPA MIDI controller, which means it can be used with anything. 
play it standalone, use it like a MIDI controller, or load up an MPE plugin and you're good to go. Expressive E says they're putting the production units through comprehensive real world tests and they plan to start delivering this year. You can find out more about Osmos on the Expressive E website. Okay, how about a few deals? Well, I've shared a few plugins from Yum Audio before on my channel and now they're on sale. You've got Spread and Spread Light for stereo with control, and yes, of course, some lo-fi. Lo-fi playtime, flux, and pitch dropout are on sale on Plugin Boutique. Link is below. ADSR Sounds has a Sonable sale right now. You can save on Smart EQ, Smart Comp, and Smart Reverb. And Cable Guys Shaper Box 2 is on sale on ADSR as well. If you need an audio interface, Native Instruments Complete Audio 1, 2, and 6 are on sale right now on the Native Instruments site and Sweetwater. Last, the Artoria Keystep is on sale, $20 off right now. You'll find links to all these deals in the video description below. The Orchestral Tools Metropolis Arc 5 giveaway is over and we have a winner. Congratulations to Johanna from Sweden. Yay. For winning the full Metropolis Arc 5 library of cinematic orchestral goodness. Johanna wants to create orchestral music professionally. She says she can't afford to buy expensive orchestral libraries, so she's been entering competitions to try to win them. She's got a bunch of her music on Instagram and YouTube, so check her out. Thanks to everyone who entered this giveaway and thanks to Orchestral Tools for doing this giveaway with us. Metropolis Arc 5 just came out and it's a monster library, excellent for cinematic trailers. Check it out on the Orchestral Tools site. Hey, they've even got some free stuff there. It's now a week into the new year. How are you all doing? We are here making goals for 2022, working every day and keeping it positive and fun along the way. Here's a beat made with a synth and electric guitar. Meet Just A Kind. Just A Kind is an artist from France. They created this beat with their complete control keyboard and hybrid keys from Native Instruments. They used Filter Step from Audio Modern on the electric guitar and Arturia's Analog Lab for the synth lead parts. Follow Just A Kind on Instagram and to have your music featured on Sanjay C News, follow and tag Sanjay C and make sure to hashtag Sanjay C news so I can find your music. Keep sharing the music and keep spreading the love. All right, today's freebie is a monosonic synth plugin from Fabric70. Sensuous works on Mac and Windows and gives you an easy way to familiarize yourself with synth controls in a simple to use interface. You've got filter, envelope, and LFO included. Give it a try using the link below. If you want more free plugins, I've got a video right here with 50 free plugins and another one coming soon. And if you wanna keep learning, check out one of my tutorial videos. Keep making the music you love and I'll see you later.